Hey guys, welcome back to another Heartman Controls Protector.net tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to do the initial Protector.net software installation. Protector.net needs to be installed on a Windows 7 or newer machine. It can be a shared machine for small systems with just a couple doors, but for anything larger we always recommend automatically install them if they are not already present. If you install Protector.net from the official flash drive, those components will be loaded from there. If you're installing with the web download, Protector.net will automatically try to download any required components. To get started, we'll just click the install button and we'll wait for Microsoft SQL to finish up. Once we're at the login screen, enter hc as the username and all lowercase hc access as the password. Click login. On the main page of the system manager, we can check the status of the protector.net web server. Start or stop the web service if needed. On the bottom, we can change the password to log into the system manager UI. The second tab is the networking tab. Here we can change network settings of the Protector.net server remotely. Finally, we have the Backup tab. The first section is define how and what we backup. We can choose if you want to backup user profile pictures as well as the database. We can optionally compress the backup or encrypt it with a passphrase, and optionally remove old backup files based on a parameter. Next, we decide where to put it. We can back up the database either remotely on a network drive or locally on the same computer or even a USB stick. Start by entering the path to your backup. In this case, I'm going to make a folder on my C drive called Backup. If we were backing up to a network drive, we would need to enter the Windows credentials that have access to the network drive and the database. If we're backing up to a local drive, we can leave these fields blank. And finally, in the last section, we can define this backup to be done on a schedule, once a week, once a day, or once a month. Finally, we click Save and Run Now. In a few moments, we can check the directory we specified. And we can see here our new backup file. Back in the System Manager, to restore a previously backed up database, Click on the Restore button on the top. Browse to the backup file. Enter a passphrase if you encrypted it. And click the Restore button. It will now stop the web service and attempt to restore the selected file. Keep in mind, if you're not in a trial license and move the databases between PCs, you may need to rearm your Protector.net license. If the restore fails, please see the System Manager chapter of the Tech Guide for more detailed troubleshooting. This concludes this tutorial. Check out the System Manager chapter in the Software Tech Guide for more info on backup and restore procedures.